Morning, everyone. Ivan Fairhall, Managing Director of Pivotal Metals, just coming on to share some more results from Horton Lake. It's the 6th of June, 2024, and, and very positive news indeed. Uh, two more holes released. These are really important holes. They form a key pillar of the upside potential of the Horton Lake project, which, as we know, is completely open at depth. So I'll just share my screen and we can take a quick look at some of the results. So like we said in the news release here, these two holes are the first step out holes, meaning they were drilled below the deepest uh, previous drilling in the area. And uh, in both cases, we've ex intersected high grade zones and they're really important. And that uh, and, and the resource model did not predict, it didn't have the density of drilling to, to predict that they would extend to this area. So, so we're looking, what we need to do is show continuity of those high grade zones down plunge. And that's exactly what we've seen here on on these results. So just taking a little look at the map, where were the holes? Uh, you can see where we've drilled them there, that the red dots um, down plunge and below previous drilling. It's important to highlight here that this drilling is still very shallow, uh, two, 200, 230 metres vertical, and, and that's less than half the depth that drilling has been defined, uh, has defined sort of mineralisation in the central deposit. So kind of reinforces how substantial the upside on the deposit here. Every time we drill down plunge, we're finding really good mineralization and, and that's going to allow us to the potential to extend the resource and make it larger. So the results themselves, both good high grade sections, they sit within wide zones of mineralization, but we see those good thick high grade sections, 7.2 meters at 1.5 per six, 5.6% 5, copper equivalent, 11 meters at 1.4%. And uh, you can read into the detail, you can see that there's there's, there's even higher grades that sit in narrow sections uh, beyond that. So, you know, two to 3% copper equivalent. So good, good grades, chunky intersections. And um, yeah, that that's, that's, that's what we're looking for, economic type grades in this part of the deposit. So just taking a little look at the long section, uh, you can see here what we mean a little bit more detail about step out. Got wide gaps around these holes, so so this is a this is a real hole ninety seven in particular really steps out down, it infills a gap, um, and um, and 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 same here on ninety six and, and and where we're seeing those high grades, it allows us to interpolate them down. Before I'll show you a little bit on the cross section here. Before we did we interpreted a, a mineralized boundary down here, but there was a, a you know a paucity of drilling. Um, that uh, didn't allow the high grades to extend. So the red blunt blob here, you see, that's the 28 million tonnes. So, so what we're now seeing, I believe, is, um, is good economic grades of mineralisation. And, and I expect when the resource gets updated, it will grow down plunge, uh, we'll join up those things and, and we'll be able to enlarge the resource. So, so make the project bigger, more tonnes at good grade, that means more value. And, and, and don't forget too that we're assaying for all the elements. Uh, once again, we're seeing really fairly substantial um, platinum, palladium, cobalt, gold, um, silver. So cobalt, platinum and palladium, they're not even uh, cobalt, platinum and silver, I should say. They're not even included in the equivalent calculation. The gold, palladium, cobalt, platinum, none of those, silver, none of those existed uh, none of those were assayed for in this part of the deposit. So just being having the ability to bring more mantle into the project that lifts the economic value and uh, yeah, it just sort of means more upside. So um, so just thinking about where we go forward, there's still lots more holes to release. The green ones um, you can see on the plan, they're all still holes to release, 28 to go, almost 6,000 metres. Uh, it's a combination of infill to add continuity, tonnes, uh, byproduct credits in in and around the deposit that we've already been defined, and then more of these down hole uh, down plunge extensions, showing where the mineralization extends, and then layering on top of that the downhole geophysics to demonstrate the potential for quite substantial uh, upside beyond this drill, drill program as we look below the drilling and generate more targets to grow the resource over time. So, lots for shareholders to look forward to, and uh, we're really looking forward to sharing the results with you as they come available. Thanks.